video games are good, but they've always lacked that certain sense of originality, which is why I'm going to be recreating famous characters within Spore, but better. All of this is going to be achieved through the Creature Creator, which gives you an interesting base each time, and I will be using this wheel of random characters to choose what exactly I should create. So, this is our first spin. We are creating Kratos from a game I have never played. Okay, he doesn't wear many clothes. Okay, this doesn't quite look right as a base, so the first step is to just make this look vaguely human. Very nice sounds. That looks kind of human-ish. I mean, that could be skin colour if you have some awful virus. Now, I'm kind of feeling like this. Looks a little bit mouldy, but why not? It does have legs, very famously, which look roughly like that. Which are some really, really muscular arms. The difficult part of this will be the face. I think something like this should do, just tilt it a little. The nose isn't quite right. The tough part of this, I think, will be the mouth. I mean, that could work. It just looks slightly more angry than usual. While I'm ahead, I'm gonna try and get... <laughs> that sounds like a sound deal with me. While I'm ahead, I'm gonna try and get some red paint on them. Okay, I'm gonna have to change them out. This is just awful. I'm feeling this design. That could work. I'm gonna need to turn these sounds off. <laughs> well, I might just get rid of the mouth for now because it's making way too much noise. But the beard could be a tough part to get in. I have a few things that look slightly beardy. It looks more like he's just swallowed a whole fish. Actually, kind of works, I think. <clears throat> in a weird way. I worry that maybe this doesn't quite have the manly feel that the original one does. But that's okay. Well, since he's bald, we don't even need to worry about that part. No offence. Just kind of work as hands. I think that could work as a mouth, actually. Do have to listen to these sounds again, unfortunately. No, that doesn't actually look too bad. I thought it would look worse. Maybe it does look awful. As soon as he moves, it does. All that's left to do now is name and save. I think we've completely dominated the game God of War now. I did have to search up what that was called, they'll be honest. It's one down, now on to the next. Okay, we're not moving too far away. We are on Agent 47 from the Hitman series. I don't know, that looks kind of like Agent 47 already. I'm going to start with the arms and legs again. I feel like Hitman's arms are probably a little bit smaller. I'm going to give him slightly more fingers. I think he deserves them. And really realistic human feet. In general, I don't think this one's going to be too hard. Well, I was going to go with this design, but... I don't know, the sideways blinking is a little bit off. It just looks awful. I think if your assassin looked like this, you would want to be killed. This is the way more comical cousin of Agent 47. <laughs> I just feel like this guy would get into loads of goofy incidents. I tried to increase the head size a little, but I'm not sure. It's my better judgement, I think I'm going to go for some weird insect eyes. It's a little bit of an improvement. I don't know, maybe that could work with a nose. Maybe? I think the only real thing that we need for this design is just maybe some sort of tie in the middle? I'm fairly sure there's something about Agent 47 having a barcode on the back of his head. So I'm going to try and replicate that if I can. Oh, I quite like this. He's got, like, crystals on the back of his head. That just seems a little bit more exotic. I forgot what his face looked like. Oh. These sounds are painful. 
All I've got to do now is get the skin colour perfect, which may be more difficult than it sounds. That's quite good. That's quite pale. Hitman's a very pale person. Ooh, I don't like that. I mean, that does look like he's just killed someone. <laughs> someone got a bit confused with joining the dots. This one looks like he's just been run over. <laughs> I was thinking I could choose this one, but then colour it like skin colour and colour the rest of it black to look like it's a suit. But <laughs> it would then be like, you know, naked. And that would work if he had hair, but you know, maybe like that. That could work. It's like a slightly more raunchy Agent 47. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. That nose, I, I didn't realise how big it was. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. That's Agent 47 pretending to have an <laughs> awful virus. Looks like his brain self sticking out. I mean, I'm enjoying this at least. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah, I reckon I'll go with this. I've added, like, some colour. I realised that also his tie is flesh coloured <laughs> and he's not w wearing socks which actually cover his feet but you know it's okay and that's agent 47 all done hey, i've just done it again and this time we have got toad it's naturally a little bit more cartoony graphics so maybe this could be easier maybe not though oh that kind of works there's a little bit of a contour there so it does kind of look like there's a toad hat there. Getting the coating right is going to be the part that matters, so I'm going to try and do that now. Maybe? I mean, that was like two or three spots. It's almost there. That's like the opposite of what I want. Oh, that gives him stitches. Maybe for like the horror version of toad. Again, same here, weird spine. And this one gives him like a cool gangster necklace. Oh, it has like a very sweet, simple smile, so... <laughs> I was gonna say maybe that. I mean, that kind of sounds okay. The eyes will be easy to make, they're just black circles. <laughs> Calm down. Maybe something like that? That could kind of work from the front, maybe. <laughs> oh dear, they all blink. Maybe something like that could work? And if I just put his body like that... That looks okay. Well, I don't know, that kind of works. I think the previous two have kind of broken my opinions on what works, though. Should go for that, for like a heavy duty toad. Well, you know, that kind of works. That looks like a jacket. Yeah, I get it all that. No, maybe not. This looks like he's been working for eight years in a coal mine. What was that sound? I'm gonna make one more attempt to just fix his head a tiny bit. Oh, that actually is an improvement, surprisingly. You know, I think with a red like that, it might just about do. So there we have it, Toad. Hey, this is our fourth spin. Hey, it's Michael from the GTA series. I feel like we've already kind of got this with the Hitman one. Now, I'm going to break the rules. I think we've done too many that look too similar. So I'm going to actually roll another. I did just get Mario. This is probably a good time to mention I have already made Mario. This was my first attempt. As you can see, I have significantly improved since then. I'm gonna get one with a bit of colour. And it's solid snake. Yeah, very colourful. Hey, it's Luigi. Total first try. But I just used this base and just had the hair. I'm not sure what I'm doing. 
I mean, that's quite a good lampshade. Ooh, that looks like an L. I think I've done something. <laughs> wow. Well, I'm kind of liking that. Oh, not those sounds again. Okay, I'm giving up. This one's clearly impossible. <laughs> yeah, I know. At least she's got a good face. There we go. Cleverly avoiding some copyright. And this is our last spin. This one really counts. And I'm just going to make whichever one comes up. And our final one... is Zelda. <laughs> like the protagonist of the Zelda series. No, not really. I mean, that kind of works as a base. Not like in the ultra-realistic human feet. Okay, the hair will be a challenge. Maybe something like that could work? That could work. No. You know what, I might actually be creative and try to just make a mouth. I think that's a little big. Well, this is our final creation, so I really want to get this one down. Yeah, but an interesting nose. That's some improvement. Maybe something like that could work. Oops. <laughs> Just some wide arms. I mean, that's actually quite good. They could just pick up a guardian and fling it. But it's important that they wear, like, some clothes at least. I mean, it feels like we're almost there. <laughs> no. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna have to make the clothes myself. You know what? I reckon that might be good enough. I mean, that. I mean, you couldn't quite recognise that, but, you know, it'll do. There, all done. Oh, it needs a mouth. It's so fussy. Oh, I didn't add ears, that's the point. In fact, I forgot after the first creation to add ears to any of them. If I can seal little <laughs> claws, that might work. You know what, just for fun, I'm going to spin the wheel one more time, but not make whatever I get. <laughs> so you can just, you know, imagine the fun that you would be feeling. Ignore the fact it's on Captain Falcon. And the one that I am not going to bother to make is... So there you go. I'm so sorry if you've watched this. <laughs> Bye.